Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to talk about what we allow during the dating season. He makes his approach. He wants your number. And you think, wow, this guy looks good. Might even make a little money on the side. Mm. So you get all dutied up and cutied up. And he takes you out and he winds you. And he dines you. Takes you to the movies. And maybe even the theater. And now you are so taken by his charm. And so are your friends and family members. Oh, they're smitten. Oh, you got a good one this time, girlfriend. And then one day you get in an argument and things escalate. And guess what he does? He snaps. And you let it slide. But then some things start happening during the conversations and you notice that at one point under his breath he called you a B. B I T C H. And you said, No, I know I didn't hear what I heard, so you slide into what they call denial. <laughs> and then the next thing that happens, as a few months go by and you get into another little tiff, he shoves you out of the way. And you don't say a word. Well, guess what? It happens again. And again. And all of a sudden, the shove turns into a smack. Because, well, you know, he didn't mean all those shoves. It's just, he's under a lot of stress. So you start rationalizing for him and making excuses. Then you end up getting engaged, getting slapped a few times, marrying, and before you know it, guess what? He's punching, kicking, and beating. And you're too embarrassed to tell anybody now because you were silly enough to marry him. In spite of all the warning signals, now you feel stuck. Well, let me tell you something, baby. We all make mistakes. And you are not stuck. You can still walk away. Take mommy's advice. I'm telling you for your own good. It never gets better, baby. It always gets worse. And the only thing that will stop it is your death or his arrest. Huh. Think on that one for a minute. Just think about it. And you have a nice day. Amen? Amen.